Pete, and he's from Black Spiders, and he sings and plays guitar. Oh, okay. This is Ozzy from Black Spiders, and uh, he plays guitar and sings. We're at, we're at Bingley Music Live. How do you, how do you think your set went? Uh, today it went really well, actually. Yeah, we had a good time, didn't we? It is. I played a little bit longer than we should have done, but it was alright. No harm well done anyway. It was alright, wasn't it? Yeah, it went down, had a bit of a, a, bit of a mosh pit going on, and uh, you know, a good, a good loud cheer um, when we asked for it, and, uh, and some good crowd response to our usual um, band and crowd banter, which is quite good. Yeah, we had a good time. Yeah, so it was good. I think everyone had, had a really good time. Is there any other band that you want to see online? Or? Uh, Jim Jones was today, yeah, Jim Jones was here. Yeah, we saw that they were on straight after us. And, uh, so but while we were packing away, we kind of got to see quite a bit of them. Sounds good. Yeah, but it's a bit of a in and out this one. We're kind of doing our bit and then we've got to go home, so we're not really going to get a chance to see much. But that's the way it goes sometimes. You did the Jaeger tour with Skindred. How, how was that for you? It was awesome, it was a good tour, I won it. It was basically, we only did five dates and at the end of it, we were, every band was saying, can't we, can't we do more? Like five wasn't enough really, was it? Yeah, it was really good, like, you know, we, we got to play in front of quite a different audience to, to what we usually play in front of as well, because a lot of, a lot of the, because the tickets were only five quid, um, when they announced, when, when they first announced the show, all the shows, it was, it was just skin with therapy. Um, and so when we were announced, uh, there was probably only like maybe a couple of hundred tickets in that left in each of the shows. And, uh, and so we were kind of playing mainly in front of uh, uh, skin with audience, which was, which was a good was a experience. Was, you know, we like to play in front of different bands' audiences, which is why we do so many big support tours, because we're kind of stealing audience from every other band that we play with to kind of make our own massive audience. And it seems to have worked so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was great. I mean, and uh, they, they welcomed us with yeah. open arms. It is, yeah. It's fair to say. Good times. You're, uh, you've also played Download as well. Well, that good for you as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's the second time. I mean, it was like a, our return after sort of we played it pretty much. Was it before we'd done the album the first time? Yeah, we played there in 2009. And uh, we were quite low down on the bill on, on the uh, tube on stage. Um, and at, at, that, at that point in time, we were pretty, sort of fairly unknown. I think we'd only, I think we'd only actually had a one EP out of that. Uh, but a lot of people turned out to see us play. So playing download this year was kind of like. Um, the pinnacle of, of, of what we've done so far with the releases and the album and the, all the touring that we've done. You know, even though we were on at midday on the Sunday, it was amazing. It was probably like the best, like the best show we all looked forward to playing. And it was pretty amazing. Everyone was really, you know, we were all really excited about playing it. And, and, and happy that we actually got good asked to play it as well because. The year before we played Sonosphere, and uh, so we, we weren't expecting to get asked. So. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things. It's like just the, the history behind Donington, and, and, and that's that place as a festival. Especially like you know, like we're all like rock fans, and you, when you when you look at the bands that have played there in the past and stuff, it is like it's like the church of rock music in a way. And so to play. You know, on a Sunday when everybody's sort of a bit on Sabbath, over. Headline, on Sabbath headline, yeah. you know, to play on the day of the Sabbath headline, it's the 10 year anniversary of download. You know, it's um, really amazing to, to get asked to, to be given such a good slot as well. Because I don't think there was, like, the other bands that played at the same time were totally different to others. So, you know, we, we kind of had a captive audience, really. Yeah, and because if we would have been playing further up the bill on, on any of the other days or, or even on the Sunday, you know, there's so many of the good bands that are playing around that time as well, you know, that were like in a similar sort of vein to us, yeah, yeah, well, not genre, but like in a similar vein to us. We're all rock bands there. 
Sheffield March. Yeah, every night. <laughs> yeah, most of them like live in Sheffield and are uh, sort of based in Sheffield, so it's a lot of Over the summer, all we've really done is sort of like been rehearsing the new, we're rehearsing right, the new record, and, um, and doing festivals. So it's kind of been in Sheffield quite a lot, everyone's been in Sheffield quite a lot, and um, it's an sort of Aussie right behind them. Yeah. <laughs> Go back there every night, every time we're doing the show anyway, or a lot of the band are there all the time. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's only the idiots in the band that don't actually live in Sheffield. It's not quite factual, really. I can think of one in there. Uh, yeah, well. <laughs> Have you got much else planned for the rest of the year? Um, it's mainly concentrating on a new album. Um, we've been asked. Just more recording, really, and, and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of studio time, everything coming up, and possibly. Well, yeah, we're just going to write a record, really, and make sure it's ready. Because if we're going to put it out next year, then we need to try and get it finished as soon as possible. Yeah, we've played. You know, I think that if there's a chance to sort of play some more stuff in Europe or um, obviously like Japan and America and Australia, we're trying to push to get the album out there. Um, but it's a funny time at the minute, you know, so we just have to see what happens. We're just going to start focusing on what we're going to do next and making sure we're ready. There's certain, yeah, there's certain strategies you need to do when you're kind of releasing stuff. And because we haven't released the album in Australia or Japan yet, uh, and we've got a new album sort of coming up. Um, we've got to kind of think about how we're going to do that. We're going to go over there and play. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to have a lot of possibilities of things. So. Nothing definite, apart from an album. 